They need help. Why won't they give me the help all the time? And now they're starting about the, about the border. It's out of control. And so we're just on a roll here. We've created almost 15 million brand new jobs just in three years, more than any president has in American history in that period of time. We've, we've actually made sure that we have all kinds of additional help. People are getting the paychecks for Hispanics. Is four, 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 they're making 40% more money than they did before we started in terms of wealth. African Americans, 50%. It's, it's about everybody. It's not about just one group of people. Because when we all do well, everybody does well. I really mean it. We have the best economy in the world. Inflation is coming down. There's still too much expensive, too, too much is expense, and a little bit of corporate greed going on too. As you might. <laughs> there, well, there's, there's a little, little article written. You ought to I'll get your connection to it. It's called. It's, it's about a Snick, Snick, What's happened with the Snickers bars? Yeah. Snickers bars. You know that candy. Yeah. Well, they haven't raised the price of Snicker Bar. They just took 10 percent of it out. <laughs> the bill that you passed didn't get a single Democratic vote in the House or the Senate. How are you going to get anything done? Or do you just want to make a speech? As you admittedly say, the border is you say the border is in chaos. Do something about it. Don't just politically posture. It is my testimony that the border is secure and we are working every day, day and night to increase its security. The challenges that we are experiencing at the border cannot be overstated. I would, in fact, make sure that there is, we immediately surge to the border. All those people are seeking asylum. They deserve to be heard. That's who we are. We're a nation that says if you want to flee and you're fleeing oppression, you should come. 